Are you coming soon to me? No parking in LA. So I'm gonna send an Uber to you. Hi you guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's Elsa. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I did this hairstyle. I did boho slash mermaid braids, knotless. I mean, some people might just call these boho, but I mean, look how full it is. It is so full, I would say it's like a mix of both, you know? I've already had this hairstyle in for a week. Okay, you know this, if you braid your own hair and you've spent over 20 hours, by the time you finish, you're you're just done. You just want to clean up and maybe if that and not even deal with the hair anymore. You just kind of like are wearing it. You don't even really care to take photos or that's what that was me. So I did I did not use any synthetic braiding hair. I only used three bundles of body wave human hair from Y Wigs, 22 inches. So this is like super long. If you were only just using your hair, um the length might come out different depending on how long your hair is or how short. All right, if you want to see how I did this hairstyle, then keep on watching. The hair that we're using today is from Y Wigs. Normally I would do two bundles, but I got three bundles this time. I want my hair to look super full. Oh, it's so soft. So this is 22 inches body wave. I have not tried body wave yet. I think I've only tried um, water wave in the past. So this is going to be a different look. I've already prepped my hair. I've just put it into a low bun for now, but I have a video on how I prepare my hair for braids, so I'll just link it. I'm going to use the Shine and Jam. Last time I did my boho braids, I was scammed and I got a fake Shine and Jam, so make sure you get a legitimate Shine and Jam, otherwise you'll be really mad at yourself. Okay, you're going to need a rat tail comb for party. You'll also need some clips to move the hair away when you're attaching it. Some hair ties. Oh, and then the most important thing that you could probably get for yourself. This is probably the most helpful tool that you could have as a braider. Um, it saves you so much time. So I'm gonna add all my curly pieces on here. It just saves you so much time to have it all ready. You don't wanna be struggling, like trying to separate the pieces as you're braiding, that you're just making things a lot more difficult for yourself. So get a braiding rack. I think that's everything that we're gonna need. So I'm gonna just get started. I feel like I haven't done boho braids with added hair in a long time. So I kind of forget how long it takes me to do. This hair is 22 inches and my hair already comes down to like here. And when I, I'm gonna attach it around here. Um, so my hair is gonna be super, super long. I'm gonna separate this so that way I don't have so much to work with at once, just so there's less chances of me like dropping it or messing it up. I'm gonna just take this bigger piece and move it away. I'm gonna take my shining jam and put it on the ends. And this just makes it easier to separate. I think this is a good size. Are you coming soon to me? No parking in the so For the ends, I'm taking two really small pieces they're pretty small i shouldn't i could have i don't know well we're at the beginning so we might have to like tweak things as i go but for now this is how small i have the pieces okay so i have the two pieces i take a tiny bit of shining jam and i just combine the ends so i combine the ends like that take some shine and jam and just put them together and this is what it should look like I feel like this method is just works so well, especially if you're just using your own hair. I'm gonna make some of these now. Just put it on the Both sides are done, um, so that's gonna save me a lot of time. This is my nail um, organizer. I have all my nails down here, and this is just a mirror that I got from IKEA. I just laid it um, horizontal, and it's just balancing on here. So as long as I don't bump this, it should stay balanced. And then I have 
this mirror um, in front of me and this swivels so if I need to like adjust or whatever. So I had washed my hair last night and it had air dried for the most part and then I went over it with my blow dryer this morning. Still on volume so I didn't blow dry it too much since I am just using my hair for the braids I want them to be thick. So I've parted the back row and then I've just pinned the middle one just makes it easier I can just keep going so I don't have to like do the braid part another one I'll just part the entire row you know doing things like that just makes braiding your own hair a lot less like I just like to do that I feel like when you do your own hair doing little things like preparation you know being one step ahead of yourself that makes sense you know the, the first couple braids are always just like trying to figure it out my hair is like right here so I'm gonna braid until just after where my hair ends these little flyaways I wouldn't even worry about it if you're using synthetic hair you can just cut it but this is human hair and you want to reuse it so I would stay away from cutting it because you're just gonna keep making it shorter and shorter the next time you use it um, if you don't mind then cut it like the top row I'll probably cut the fly the pieces that are sticking out if you notice it starts off like really skinny and then where we attach the hair it's like gets thicker don't worry about that either because when we start attaching the pieces it will just you'll see it'll start it will look good so first braid all right I'm gonna show you guys really quickly how I do my parting this isn't super detailed but this is what I do First, I'll just do a quick parting of my row and then put the rest of my hair into a loose bun. And then I'm just going to clean up the line. Once I'm happy with the line, I will start creating my little parts. So I will just create my part and then move it to the side with a clip. And then I will take my next part and then move it out of the way. Next part, use a clip. And then same thing. I'll just do that with my entire row. Definitely use shine and jam if you want for your parting. Your parts will come out a little bit cleaner, but I'm going to try to avoid using shine and jam just this time. Um, I just want to see if my scalp will feel better, maybe a little less itchy. Maybe my scalp can breathe a bit more, but I'll let you guys know if I notice a difference not using shine and jam versus using shine and jam. Once my row is pre-parted, then I can just start braiding and it's really nice pre-parting because... When you get braiding, you just like have a flow and you can just move on to the next braid without having to stop to part. And even if you don't pre-part your entire head, I suggest at least pre-parting your row. And I like to do the brick layering method so that way when you're done, your braids just sit a lot nicer and a lot flatter. I just think it looks a lot nicer than stacking the braid on top of each other. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how I do my braids. So I just start off doing a regular three strand braid and I am just going to keep braiding until I am ready to add my first curly piece. Um, if you want your boho braids to look very, very full and you want the curly pieces to start at the top, then you would add this curly piece a little bit higher, but I'm going to add it right here. Um, so I just use my thumb to push it into the three strands and you want to make sure you leave two to three inches of the shorter end so that way when you braid it in you know for sure that that hair is not going to slip out so i'm just going to keep braiding that in for a little bit and then take the longer end and move it out of the way and continue to braid all right i'm going to add my second piece of hair and same thing make sure that you've left enough hair out on the shorter end because if you make it too short your hair could just fall right out of the braid. So just leave enough out so that way you have the peace of mind that you're not gonna be losing hair when you just touch your hair. So I'm just gonna braid that down until I am ready to take out the longer end and just move it out of the way, continue to braiding. I have been adding anywhere from two to five pieces of hair on each braid. On the sides of my head, just above my ears, I've only been adding two to three and then the back of my head and the top of my head I think I've been adding four to five it really depends on the look that you're going for if you wanted your hair to look super full then you would add more pieces if you didn't want it as full you would do less pieces I'm just gonna continue with adding the pieces it looks like I added three on this piece of hair so same thing 
just use my thumb, push it in, and then braid. Make sure you don't braid too tight, otherwise you just create a bump, like it kind of just scrunches up. Once I have just a little bit of my own hair left out, I'm going to start adding the crochet pieces. You do want to make sure that you have enough length of your own hair that you're going to braid the crochet pieces into. Otherwise, the pieces that you're adding, it could slip out. So just make sure there's enough hair holding on to the crochet pieces. So I'm adding the pieces the same way as I added the other pieces. I just use my thumb, push it into my hair, and then just braid. And I'm adding two to three pieces of the crochet hair at the ends. It really depends on how thick that braid is. And I am using a little bit of Shine and Gem just to blend my hair with the crochet pieces. And I'm just going to keep braiding until I get just past my own hair. And that is pretty much it. That is how I do my boho braids. I've been doing it this way for the last couple of times I've done my boho braids and I haven't had any issues with the pieces coming out or anything. Um, so I'll probably continue to do my boho braids like this. The little flyaways here, I'm just going to cut them. I have been just leaving them, but the ones around my face, I've just been cutting them. You do want to be super careful because I did end up cutting my own hair. The little scissors I'm using, it got in between the braid and actually cut my hair. Um, yeah, just be careful. Like, I actually, I can't believe I did that. Alright, when I get to the top of my head, like the, the two rows where my middle part is, I do try to take out the pieces a little bit higher. I think it just gives the top of my head more volume. And I also just like the appearance of the pieces coming out closer to my scalp. And I do add, I think I added four or five pieces on the two rows where my middle part is and yeah you guys have no idea how happy I was to finish this hairstyle it felt like it took so long I did trim the ends I just wanted to even out my hair a little bit not too much I just took the tiniest bit just to even out the ends okay I'm gonna stop for now because I I need to go do something else besides braiding because I've been braiding for over 20 hours This hairstyle I think is like top three of all hairstyles that I have done. Um, it's just so, at first I was regretting like how tiny I was doing this. Like honestly, I don't know if this was necessary to make them this small. If I was getting it braided by three braiders, then that's another thing. But when you're sitting by yourself, like I don't think it's really necessary. Unless you don't mind sitting for days doing your hair. But I actually was like, I'm done. I don't think I could do this again like this tiny, but it looks so good. So maybe I will do it again. I think moving forward, when I do black boho braids, I will never be using synthetic braiding hair again. I will just use my own hair with the human hair bundles. My head just feels like it doesn't have like a heavy weight attached to it, you know? It's so light, it's really easy to style, and it also detangling is so nice. I literally just grab it like this and I can detangle. And then the curly pieces, they're pretty easy to detangle as well. You just take them out and brush them out. Um, I'll probably do that like next week. I'll just go like small sections at a time and just detangle them. I haven't been using any products except for just this one. It is a refreshing curl mist and I just spray, I kind of just be spraying. It's kind of like a nice mixture of like a hair serum and a curl definer. I feel like I showed you guys this in my last boho braids video, but I want to show you guys again just in case y'all forgot because I actually kind of forgot. For your hair to look even fuller, you want the curly pieces to come out at the front. You don't want them to sit like behind, otherwise the braid is just sitting on top of them. So you want them to be sitting at the front like this. It just makes your hair look a lot more fuller. This braid, all three of the curly pieces are sticking out behind the braid and I want them to be in the front. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. And then another thing is like, do you remember like all the flyaways? Eventually they're just gonna like flatten out. So don't even worry about having to cut them all out. In the front, I did cut 
cut them out but behind i did not cut any of them out like okay so i have my crochet hook and i'm gonna put it right below the curly piece so just from the top and then put it through at the bottom grab the piece and then attach it close it and then pull it through and now it's sitting at the top with the hook you want to attach it below the hair and not above it i'll show you really quickly what it looks like if you attach it from the top this is what i can close it pull it through do you see it kind of like it goes like loop like that kind of like which is fine i guess you'll probably get more volume but I want it to sit more flat, so I'm just going to pull it back out and then go from the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see. There. See? It sits a lot nicer. Obviously, this is something you can skip, but if you're a little bit of a crazy person, a little bit of a perfectionist, or you just want your hair to have a little bit more volume, you can like go back and do this when I am braiding I try to think about where the hair is going to stick out and for some reason this area no matter how hard I try the pieces still come out sitting at the bottom anyways also if you got your hair done professionally and then you come home and you notice that all the pieces are sticking out in the wrong direction you could just fix it yourself which is kind of annoying you shouldn't have to do it because you just got your hair done professionally, but if you have to, if that ever happens to you, you can just get a crochet hook and fix it. Um, okay, a few more tips. If you want your boho braids to be full, make sure the pieces that you're adding, they're not too small. Otherwise, they're going to like shrink up and they're going to look too stringy. And try not to use too much gel because the gel makes them look stringy. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I could share with you guys. There probably is, but I just can't think of any. But if you have any questions, just put it in the comments and I will answer. Thank you to Wiboos for sending me this hair. I will put all of their details in the description. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.